I really like using this page to figure things out. Yes, your joke turned out to be right. All right, everybody. The new rule is jokes take precedence because they've they've, they've solved several things for us. All right, Winston Smith is the carpenter. That's like we're gonna have to like start going by professions now. How many names do we have left? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But Martin Perot, we don't have to worry about. So really, just eight. And some of these are going to be for that, that missing chapter. Like, some of these are unsolvable until we get the mystery chapter, I think. I'm, I'm partially sure of. Alright, now we definitely have to go page by page, though, because we need to start, like, seeing who we don't have. So Edward Nichols shot this man. Edward Nichols was the second mate, which means that the person he shot was not a mutineer. This is someone that wasn't mutinying. So that is a foothold for us. I like footholds. Anything that, like, give us a route to work with. So he wasn't. Wasn't a mutineer. He was shot by the mutineers. So this guy was loyal to the captain. That's handy dandy. What else do we have to work with here? <coughs> <coughs> now this guy was spiked by a terrible beast which means he was probably during unholy captives so he's probably one of the mutineers he doesn't look like one of the guys that was hostage he looks like one of the people that was trying to steal the magical conch so again we're, us we're using who was a mutineer who was not a mutineer that's our, our last ditch effort here. That and people's professions. This guy was speared by a terrible beast. It looks like he was speared on the boat. So he could be anybody. I mean, we can't rely on the fact that he was a mutineer or not. What else we got? What else we got? Uh, boo, 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 boo. Another exploded guy. This is just someone that blew up with the Kraken. Unknown soul was drowned by a terrible beast. He's rough. I don't know how we're going to solve him. I'm pretty sure we, like, completed... Oh, that's something I should check. Give me one second here. You guys can't see it, but I'm looking at my achievements. My achievements tell me... which chapters we've gotten completely right. So we could start ignoring certain chapters. I'm sorry about this. You can't see it. Alright, chapter 1, totally done. Chapter 2, totally done. Chapter 4, totally done. Chapter 10, totally done. So we're looking at chapter 3 we're trying to solve. 5, 6, like ev everything after, after the calling, but not the end. The end we have totally solved. I apologize for looking at a screen that you can't take advantage of. So, 1, 2, 4, and 10, all done. Thank you very much for writing that down. I think I want to focus on the guy who wasn't part... Like, the guy who was shot by, by the second mate. So, what page was that on? Uh, Terrible Beast. I want the guy who was shot by the second mate. Shot with a gun by Edward Nichols. All right. This man, he was shot by Edward Nichols on your toes, boys, is his last dying words was on your toes, boys. All right, the word of the day. You guys want hints? Let me uh, pop in here real quick. Check commands. Let me remember what word of the day is. All right. To let you know, the word of the day has been typed out before by someone. It just wasn't the first word. And it's a very specific... It's a proper noun. Like, it's not someone's name. It's some thing's name. Some place's name. It's an establishment. <coughs> a place that I have been known to frequent. That's your hint. Uh, the chances you get it wrong are very low. I gave you perhaps too big of a hint. Alright, so this guy... That's his photograph. 
Do a shadow of the gun by Edward Nichols. Who can he be? There's not a lot of people left, right? Like we're we're running very low here. Running very low. Who could he have been? And he was shot. He was shot by him. He's someone on one of these two pages. Uh, ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Boop a doop a doop. All right, what chapter did you die? Murder Part Three. On your toes, boys. Murder Part Three. You're one of these goddamn people. But who? Hmm. Who am I looking at? I'm trying to figure out who this man is. The guy who says, on your toes, boys, and then uh, gets... Oh, wait, no, this is the guy who says, give it up. So the captain was in the scene. I, I go to this place all the time. Like, way more often than New York and Japan. In fact, I was there today, you could say. I was there today, you could say, shot by Edward Nichols. Um. You all remember what to do whenever ah, anyone says a secret word, right? Scream! That's right! Congratulations! Scream me aloud! You figured out my secret word of the day. Shot by Edward Nichols. <sighs> <coughs> There's like not that many people it could be. We we are getting close to just like guessing randomly. Oh, oh, oh. He's got a like built upper arms. It looks like he was coming down from the ropes when he was confronted. How many top men do we have left? We have only one top man left. There's like an unknown top man, but like literally there's one top man. Timmy Turner, he thinks it was. I mean, Timothy Budamont is a Tim. And once again, jokes. We are in the end game. We're very much in the end game. All right, Timothy Boutant. I'm going with him because he looks like a top man in this photo. It looks like he was coming down from the ropes when he got shot. So I, I, I like that. I think that's a good guess. I think that's a very good guess. Uh, part one is done. Part two is done. Part three is what we're still trying to solve things in. Is this the only mystery in part three? It is. So if we get this right, then part three is done. Part four, we still need to solve something in. And what is the thing we need to solve in part four? Oh wait, no, we're done for. It's five. Uh, we have an unknown soul spiked by a terrible beast. That one seems tough. How about part six? Soldiers of the Sea. This is slightly easier to work with. It's a, it's a sequence of events that I have pretty well in my head. Oh, apparently we guessed right, says Weatherbad, so we're, we're confident in that one. This unknown soul was speared by a terrible beast. Okay. What country could he be from? Well, straight up, like, how many people do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's literally six people left. I'm doubting this is an American. They're, we're spending a lot of time on this boat, but you know what? We want to fucking, like, solve everything. We want to finish this game. Does he look like a carpenter? Or does he look like a Captain Steward? Or does he look like Davy Jones? How many people are left? 
How many guesses do we have currently filled in? Also, page... Page 69. Hey, page 69. Because if there's just one more person... Like, if we have two of these pretty solidly filled out, and we're just trying to guess the third, we're just gonna put every name in and see what sticks. Because we're at the point now where there's not enough names to make it impossible to do it this way. Shit. We only have one guy. If we could figure out one more dude. Davy Jones's locker? You want to go with Davy Jones? Alright. Davy Jones. 69. Page 69. Once again, jokes. We're going to fill them in for the time being. We'll come back if we feel like it's wrong. Davy Jones. He doesn't look like a steward, though, is the problem. Like, the stewards have been pretty identifiable as looking somewhat well-dressed. This guy doesn't look well-dressed. So I don't think we want to go with Davy Jones. I feel like we should be able to identify this guy just because of his profession. He looks like a carpenter, says Weatherbound. Winston Smith. Hey! Hey, time period! Let's go with time period. Alright? We have a dark-skinned man on a boat. Smith was a common name for freed slaves in this time period. He's got the beefy arms of a smith. A carpenter, I should say. Like, I, I'm not 100% confident in this, but like... The only part that makes me like... I, no, no, American works! Smith is an American name. I like that. I like it. Whoever said he looks like a carpenter, you've convinced me. I like that. I like... a lot of it fits. And we're not using any game hints now, we're using just like our knowledge of, of history and naming conventions. I like that. Alright. Who's next? Let's go back... back to our book. Let's try to identify... Let's try to identify... One of the... Mates that is yet to be solved. So we're gonna go, we're gonna keep him. Uh, Purser, that's a job we could work on soon. Uh, screw that guy. He's weird. This guy is like a true mystery. Dancing man. Don't understand what's up with him. I can't, I can't find him anywhere in the book. Besides that one drawing. Timothy Bootmont we're sticking with. So Davy James. Jesus. I kept on saying Davy Jones. It's Davy James. So Davy James. This guy is the fourth mate's steward. This is the fourth mate over here. And this is a relatively well-dressed man standing directly next to him. <laughs> Fuck you, game. Pure guesswork. All right, everybody who said the guy looked like a carpenter, that was good sleuthing on all of our part. I really liked us solving that one. And Davy James was just look for the fourth mate. We should have been doing the mates way earlier because they're always standing directly next to their, their beheaded bosses. All right. Like who's left? How many, how many names could we possibly have left now? I feel like there's three left, which is convenient because that's just a matter of shuffling three names around. All right, book. So book-wise, people we need to identify. One, two, three, four, five, there's six. Now three of these are probably in the missing chapter. That leaves us with just three that we could solve now. So Hamdodium, I can't find him in the book. He's one of them. We don't have to worry about him. Motherfucking third mate, nowhere to be found. He's two. He He's in the secret chapter. That means there's one more person here from the secret chapter, and the rest are things we can guess. So let's start... Let's start flipping pages, baby. So chapters one, two, three, and four are done. Uh, we also finished another chapter. So chapters one done. Chapter two... Uh, let me refresh this so it shows me my proper achievements. 
Chapter one, done. Chapter two, done. Chapter three, done. Chapter four, done. Chapter five, done. So it's six, which is the secret chapter. Seven, eight, nine. Right? Six is the secret one. No, six is the, the soldiers at sea. But we finished that. I'm sorry. We Five is not done. I swear. I'm not stupid. I'm just sick. So there's something left in five. Unknown soul! Spiked by a terrible beast. This guy... Is, there's only one page left. It's either... Number 16, number 28, number 33, or number 34. He has... No discernible features. So that's rough. What the fuck is a purser? There's only one purser on the boat. Uh, Q. Let's go to the glossary. Let's look at what a purser is. Administrative official accounts for all cargo. Oh, right. Uh, Pope Island told us this. It's the accountant. You did. You did. I apologize. You're right. It's the treasure. I'm sorry. All right. I'm sorry. Jeez. Like, how can we identify Duncan McKay here? What would that kind of man look like? Any jokes? Any any jokes about Duncan McKay? <laughs> Don't you ever joke about hurting my precious dog babies. I love them, even though Benji was, like, feral while I was home. My arms are covered. Covered in scratches from that goddamn dog. All right, Duncan McKay, what the hell? What the hell would he look like? Definitely not you. It's just like... You know, a gambling man probably is not the treasurer, so let's discount him. It's none of the Formosans. We already know who you are. I hate that it pops up, but like we haven't figured out his fate, so he's never going to go away. Oh, oh, oh! Ascots! Ascots look kind of like a county. <laughs> <coughs> Duncan McKay. That's what we're looking for. Duncan McKay. I'm leaning Ascot. Like, we got this Ascot. We got that Ascot. That Ascot. Three Ascots to work with. I'll, I'll pick this Ascot, I guess. Drowned by a terrible beast. All right. That's Duncan McKay, for the time being. The Captain Stewart. How have we not figured out Philip Dahl yet? I feel like that has to be an easy one. He's probably standing next to the Captain, right? Is that a safe assumption? So far, every steward in the photographs has been standing next to the Captain. Where's the Captain? Where the fuck is the Captain? God damn it, we can't identify the captain. Because he's he's already been Oh, that's the captain. This guy right here. Not not this guy, this guy. Hmm. Unfortunately, there's not much for us to work with there. Like people we could choose. Mm-hmm. -hmm. I really need to change this guy. Mr. Sierra Leone. Like, we have no reason to assume that this man is him. I don't- I don't want to pick you. I want someone else to be you, um... Fuck it. You. You become you. Just for the time being. Philip Dahl. Unknown fate. Captain Stewart. I like- I don't understand what could have happened to this man. Oh, I know what we could do. I know what we could do. He's in three memories. Let's stay focused. We have no idea how he died. That's the problem here. Show memories on deck map. He's depicted in the underway sketch. Let's try and figure out Dancing Man. Show memories on deck map. Unholy captives he's a part of. So he's part of that, that boat adventure. And he was part of the calling. That's interesting. That's extremely interesting. 
So he's in the calling. Only captives. Only captives. But we don't have his death. I feel like this is one of the guys that has to be in the mystery chapter. Like, if we haven't seen him die, and we didn't, like, he doesn't say he disappeared in the chapter. He has to be close to the captain to dance with his wife. Hey! Weatherbound! That's a good point! Q! That's a very good point. And that is the captain's wife he's dancing with, isn't it? Uh, picture. Emily Jackson. Oh no. I mean, the captain's wife is here. Captain, the surgeon's mate. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. He's he's doing dancing. He's with the upper crusties, right? I like that. I like that. Unfortunately, again, this guy doesn't show up in the goddamn book as someone that died. So we need to find people that like we can identify and have pictures. That's what's important right now. Uh, chapter 5, right. <coughs> There's someone in here. This guy. We're trying to guess who he is. Ah, you see, I'm guessing Sierra Leone because he's darker skinned. And that worked out. He was the only one that's like not an Englishman or an American or a Scotsman. He couldn't be one of those goddamn people. All right. I feel like we're there, right? This has to get us to the last one. Weatherman's cheating. I know he said he's looking things up, but he's not telling me outright. And like, that's a good point. Like, I like that as a, a clue slash like uh, an intuitive thing for us to guess at. All right, we haven't solved just everything yet. We're close. Just so you don't, don't think he's smart. I'll remember he's a dummy. All right, baby. This is looking real good. We're on track. Uh, did that complete a chapter? That's an important question. Reload. So chapter one, two, three, four, five, and six are done. So chapter five is done. Chapter six is done. Chapter seven, there's somebody in here for us to work with. This unknown soul was blasted by an explosion. How many names are possibly left, right? So third mate, Philip Dahl, we can't use them. He's either Thomas Lonk or Peter Milroy. We are very close. We're almost there. Like we're we're edging ever so closer to the solution. But like, here's the thing. It's it's one of these two names, right? It has to be one of these two. Is it a, is he a Peter Milroy? <laughs> Or is he a Lonk? He's one of those names. Who else are we working with? Is he the only thing left for us to solve in the Doom? Nathan... Chapter 8 we can't do. And that leaves us just with someone left in Chapter 9. This guy was knifed by the gunner's mate. It's 50-50, right? It's 50-50. There's only two people left. There's Milroy and Lonk. So Milroy, just as a random-ass guess. And now back to Lonk. Who are our guess for Lonk. That was Lonk. Like, who else is there for us to guess, right? Yeah, two midshipmen left, just guess. So we're gonna guess Lonk here. Although, maybe it's the other way around. I feel like it would have given us a you're correct kind of answer, wouldn't it? Where's the other gentleman? Peter Milroy. Yeah, if there's only two left, we just need to swap the names. Thomas Lonk.
This is just like you have nothing to go on. Just just fucking guess. <laughs> There's only the two. We had to be right. Process of elimination, everybody. Lank, the true hero of Hyrule. We did it! Oh my god, we did it. There's only one chapter left. There's nothing left to do in the Oberdin. Get the hell off the boat. Do I want to know how you're supposed to solve that without guessing? Oh, Oddfly, yes I am. I'm very curious about that. It's been a lot of guesswork toward the end here. I've been going on like, people that are dressed like they might be from certain countries. People who look like uh, all the Russians were gambling, like, that's how we've been doing that. And these two, I just, like, we had two names left, so all that was left was doing that. Get to the chopper, secret mission. But yes, I'm very curious, Oddfly. How do you solve those two without guessing? Hey, buddy. Take me home. We should go. Storm's nearly about, so we won't be coming back. The escape part six. Thomas mentions Peter's mom, meaning he isn't Peter. Okay. Finally. Yeah, finally is right. So you don't fall out. <laughs> God damn, this game has been amazing. My only complaints about this game are quality of life complaints. Like, I would really like a, a faster way to get into memories is the only thing I have to complain about. Yeah. Having to, like, walk to specific bodies is just uh, a little bit cumbersome. But besides that one quality of life complaint, this game has been amazing. <laughs> Five star Uber doesn't talk. One week later. The Honorable East India Company, insurance assessment for the good ship Oberdin. Damage and squall. Look at that, all filled out, baby. Whoa, you're saying that Wind Waker isn't a great game? I love Wind Waker. Oh, it's very satisfying having filled that book. Total claim, $29,000. That's rough for uh, this time period, I bet. Oh, got a sign. <laughs> the pocket watch remains in your possession. The book returns to its original owner, Henry Fall, Evans in Morocco, as requested. Alright, baby. Secret chapter. Bring it on. One year later. Just drinking my tea. I refuse to turn around to address my servants. I'm above them, in station. The N64 ones are a little bit harder to play nowadays. Uh, I would say if you're gonna try and play them, it's best to go for like some of the re-releases, like the the Wii, uh, not Wii U, um, the 3DS re-releases uh, were really helpful in making Majora's Mask and and Ocarina of Time more modern day palatable. <laughs> the package smells dreadful. I'll do what I want. It's my house. I'll be turning in now. Tea's in the kitchen if you need more. Although, given given Nintendo's uh, current process, we'll probably eventually get some remasters slash re-releases slash completely utterly remade versions of those games. You played the GameCube re-releases. The cameras just suck super hard. Yeah, I would stick with the 3DS re-releases. They they really helped. Chief Inspector, I write to you with the unfortunate news that Dr. Evans has passed away. He succumbed to his illness shortly after receiving your package. He was very pleased. All right, so last time we killed him via disappointment, and I couldn't accept that ending. Hence today's, like, several hours of figuring out the last remaining names. This time he died from sheer pleasure at the good job we did. 
He was very pleased with your correspondence and asked that your his gratitude be expressed by returning the book to you, along with the means to complete it. As for the three of us that remain, the Oberdin is a distant memory and a dreadful chapter on our lives that we wish to forget. Do not write back. Regards, Jane Bird. All right. This is the means. This is the mystery chapter. It's it's a monkey's paw. Dear Jane Bird, I refuse to not write back. Stop. It's a telegram. Stop. All right, monkey's paw, take me home. Dear Miss Bird, you're not my goddamn mother. To that door. No Alright, we're gonna finally find out what happened in the mystery. Oh my god, there is a monkey in this game! One of the guys in the picture had a monkey! It's the monkey! Holy shit, the monkey's real, everybody. Alright, who are you? Alright, that's our good friend Henry. He blessed the fuck out of the monkey. We don't have to identify the monkey, so that's nice. Alright, Captain Stewart, Philip Dahl. How did he die? Oh look, he has a skeleton hand! Alright, we've we've we we've experienced skeleton hands before. <coughs> There's only one thing that does that. Let me let me fill in his fate, goddammit. Ah! Oh. Ah oh, no! The monkey was named Mojojo. The tail belongs to you now. The bargain. Oh, this is why we couldn't figure it out. Mojo Jojo. But then the professor accidentally added a secret ingredient, chemical X. Into the lazarette, a friendly but not entirely pleasant monkey companion was sacrificed in the pursuit of knowledge. There you are. Collect your things. We Where's the key? To that door? God damn. There's no time. We need to go. Right. In you go. What are you up to? Nothing good. All right, you gosh darn jerky jerky jerks. Let me let me fill in that man's information. Oh, the pocket watch, it's speaking to me. All right, god damn it. I I'm I'm ready to guess how we died. And you want to know how I know? Only one person's had a skeleton hand. And that was a very specific way that that happened. This is Philip Dahl. Unknown. Damn it, we're not allowed to fill it out yet. That's fine. It's gonna be super obvious when we get there. Alright, so we got you, got you. Who's this man? The third mate. So it looks like he is speared. I'm guessing those are, are terrible beast spears. And I bet the monster that did it is in there. Alright. Am I not- I'm not allowed to guess how he died. I'm like, already done with this game. We got, uh, reached into the chest, so burned by magic. And we got speared by a terrible beast. Take me! I'm, I'm like so eager to fill in this information that I'm, I'm not actually experiencing the story. I'm getting too excited. Oh, you want me to uh, go to the next corpse? Here we go. I never had a problem with Brawl. A third shell. The captain didn't toss them all. Leave it. Help me lift this. Listen, the shells have literally resulted in everybody dying on the boat. Maybe we shouldn't mess with the fucking shell. Stop! Why? Well, let you free. Ah, they're trying to free. Do it. Oh, these guys are smart. Hoist it out. To the main deck. Throw it over. I like 
I like that these guys are like, fucking give the magic shells to the magic monsters and get them off the boat. I don't want to die today. Someone's heart's slowing down. See it up. Oh my god! Man, she loves that shell. Alright, buddy boy. Who the hell are you? Fourth May Steward, alive in Africa. We got him. We know how he dies later on. It was the mermaid shell to begin with. The, uh... <coughs> the Formosans were, were keeping it in this magic chest. I want to write his fate. Damn it. Damn it! Oh, everything's going dark. I played for fun. The bargain, accessible only through another corpse. All right. Gonna go with Spiked by a terrible beast, baby. <gasps> the watch, it speaks to me. Take me. Bring me to my next mystery. I'm ready. Oh, you can see it's in there. It's all creepy. I think the game wants me to, uh, click on it. Ooh. I'll kill every last one of you monsters. I doubt things end well for him. That's a good monster screech, I like it! That's the captain doing his best to save his boat. Oh, look at that, you can even see the shell in his, like, skeletonified arms. We're not ready to fill him in yet, but we know it. Yeah, the captain's kind of the best character in the story. Like, he's not driven by greed, he's willing to give up all the magic stuff, he's fairly honorable, he was sad when his friends and his wife died, and he stuck around to the very end. And overcome with the fact that he felt responsible for it all, he put a gun in his mouth. He's a pretty cool guy. <laughs> People are always telling folks to release the Kraken, but the captain, he likes to subvert those tropes, says the odd fly. I like your sense of humor. Martin Perot, spiked by a terrible beast. I am like all about that. I cannot think of anything else. I'm still missing some pages for the bargain. Fun fact the Kraken's like three centimeters long. Hey, Static, how's it going? Next memory, please. Call it off, damn you. This is your How are you doing, Static? Oh, brutal. Captain just like blasting away in there. One day the game will let me like write what happened to this man because it's right there. It's super obvious what happened. Oh, Static, are you enlisted? Are you a, are you a doctor in the military? Or are you just doing a residency for an army hospital? It's death by PowerPoint. Static is always full of fun facts. We're almost done, Weatherband. We're almost done with this game. And hey, we'll probably be able to switch over and finish up uh, our good, good fun times in Bloodborne. We might finish both games today. You're an army captain slash doctor. Crazy. My younger brother is currently in the process of enlisting with the infantry.
I did not know that. I thought you were a, a, a normal, normal med school kind of folk. I mean, it's still normal med school. I thought you were generic. I didn't think you were specific. There we go. Those are better words that make more sense. Finally! I mean, we figured this guy out the second we saw his skeleton head. That's a change when I last uh, you last heard. Yeah, no, he's. I don't feel great about it, but just because like he's never been the kind of person that would do well in that environment. Like he has trouble with authority. He hates listening and doing what other people tell him to do. He's not great at sticking to a schedule. Like everything about it, like seems like a bad idea. Hmm, my good. But, like, I, I support people doing what they want to do in their lives. I just wish he would, like, have thought it through, or maybe perhaps a little bit more. <laughs> well, he'll learn. He's really gonna learn fast. The thing is, like, I was torn between doing the IT enlistment or doing the infantry enlistment, and, like, he started talking about all the pros of the IT enlistment, which is, you know, he's gonna have, uh, IT certification, uh, has a good career path attached to it, the money's relatively in IT at this point, uh, it's a non-combat position, and he's like, the pros for doing infantry where he gets to go to a fort where he has friends, but then he's going to be, like, the kind of person that will probably see active combat, and it doesn't have as short fire a career path? It's just like, it sounds like the other one's way better! Uh, we're gonna go with Burned. BAM! Easy peasy. The second we saw his skeleton hand, we knew. All fates done. All fates. Correct. We've done it, everybody. We've completed the Return of the Oberdin. It's weird that that's the secret chapter. Like, it, it takes place in the treasury room. Uh, the locked room where they keep the treasures and all that other nonsense. And, like, the only secret there is that the captain tried to get rid of the shells. Uh, that wasn't much of a secret. Like, we kind of picked up from that, from the... From the mutiny. Uh, the mutiny, everyone's like, where the hell are the shells, you son of a bitch? And it's like, oh, I threw them overboard. <coughs> so the mystery was solved already. He could switch to IT if he goes through the training. Oh, that's interesting to know. Just takes him some extra, extra work. Problem is, he hates extra work. Now we just have to finish our good skull drawing. The pads are open, he just has to have the forward thinking to plan for them. I'll let him know. I'll let him know that it's, it's possible to switch in the middle. Personally speaking, I would prefer if he was going on a non-combat path there. Ooh, uh, the door opened. It's weird. It is a strange, strange choice he's making. Okay. We're getting out of our chair. Are we gonna put the book on the bookshelf? Right next to my other mystery murder book. This is the sequel. Oh, I don't mind. I'm happy enough to talk about... Talk about, uh... My personal life and my family life. And the hope is that he'll he'll mature up a little bit. I love him to death. Like he, he's he's a he's a great brother. I love him. I'll tell you, most of why I don't want him to go is entirely selfish. Like when I visit home, part of the fun for me is like playing video games and hanging out with my brothers. And like if he enlists, he won't be around as much, and it'll be sad for me. So I'm just being a selfish motherfucker, and I want my goddamn family to stay where I can see them. Like, my brother works in Manhattan. He commutes in, so when I visit home, I still get to see... I see my first brother, Nicholas. Nick. Uh, he's, he's the next oldest after me. So even though he's, he's working in Manhattan, he lives at home. So when I visit home, I get to see him. Michael's been finishing up uh, high school, even though he's a homeschooled student at this point. He's, he's made bad choices when he first tried high school that resulted in him not being in high school anymore. Which is, again, whatever. Kids do kid stuff. 
personally, like, if you look at the shit I did in high school, I probably should have been kicked out as well. But I was an honor student, so, like, I got free passes. The fact that, like, I would climb onto the roof of the school and jump off into snowdrifts, and which would actively ditch class all the time was 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 pish pawed away because I was an I was an honor student. He wasn't an honor student, so he didn't get a free pass for like being a troublemaker. And that's kind of an unfair aspect of school. Like if you're in the accelerated program, you're in advanced placement, if you're an asshole and you do like shitty kid stuff, you get you get class clown status, right? It's like, oh no, he's just he's just a he's a class clown, he's a kidder. If you're in remedial, like, you're a troublemaker, you know? You're a problem student. It's it's something that bugged me my whole life, because I was... Hell, fucking, uh, Jimmy, my best friend in the whole fucking world from back home. He was in normal classes. He had to go through that shit of, like... They're extra hard on you because you're on remedial. Honors kids just get free passes, and I always thought, like, that was shitty. The amount of shit you can get away with if you bring up test scores is obscene, right? He's quirky, he's unique. Yeah, like we were talking about high school. You were in the, the non-honors programs. And like those classes, if you like were just a nice kid who didn't piss off the teacher and didn't make class hard, you would just kind of get floated through. Like, personally, uh, when I took French, French I took as a, oh sorry, Italian. <laughs> <coughs> I took Italian as a remedial class. I didn't take AP, didn't take honors, I took just normal. And I was the only kid in the classroom that wasn't, like, setting his desk on fire, or calling the teacher a bitch, or, like, actively getting into fistfights. And because of that, I got floated through the class. Like, I passed that class, and I learned nothing. I know one word of Italian. Orologio. Clock. That's all I learned. And that's just because I wasn't a dick. And like, I know you were telling me similar stories, you know? You were a nice kid, you, you were respectful for the teacher, you got floated through, so you got like a shitty education. <laughs> like, you passed, you got grades, but like, at this point, if someone were to quiz you, you're like, I don't fucking remember anything. Your class was super pissed because your valedictorian was a known cheater? See, that's fucked up. Uh, my valedictorian let me cheat off of them, which I was very appreciative of. Yes? What's going on, Patrick? Are you just your head in? Just interrupting the stream? This motherfucker. Everyone remember that Patrick's a bastard, man. Your school system is broke and it's not even funny. I agree. I think education in the United States, if you're going for, like, public school and they have to follow the system, it's a shit show. Like, I have so much to say on the subject, and I, I feel like I ramble about it sometimes, but, like, it pisses me off how unfair it could be. You never had to study, and you, like, <laughs> you didn't have to study, you never learned how to because of it. It's messed up. Your valedictorian gave a speech that was just the back of a cereal box, because at that point, nobody could stop him. Nice. 